What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Ash Said It. AshSaidIt.com. AshSaidIt.com. Ah, this takes me back to my childhood, my teenage years. Shout out to Monica. I'm saying ATL represented to the fullest. I'm saying ATL. Shout out to the A Town. So I'm getting into my top threes for this week. So this is my top threes. Top three is not one as we're talking about ATL. Mm. So y'all have heard by now it's actually a done deal. Julio Jones is leaving the Falcons. Julio's leaving the Falcons. This has been in the works for some time now. Not surprised. But I'm just thankful he didn't go to Dallas and he didn't go to New England. Those were really the only two teams. I like. I, my heart's going to feel away should he go to one of those teams. So he's actually going to the Titans, the Tennessee Titans. And I'm hoping that he can get the recognition and the attention and the work that he so deserves to get. And, I mean, he's, an, he's just a phenomenal, phenomenal player. The best wide receiver that I've seen in a while. I'm just saying, ATL will miss Julio, but I totally understand. I, I definitely understand why he needed to go and handle business. Atlanta wasn't holding him down, so I ain't even mad for him for chucking the deuces. Chucking the deuces out there. So shout out to Julio Jones. We gonna miss you here in the A-Town, but I certainly understand why you needed to go ahead and, uh, you know, Expand those wings and, and fly on, all right? You know, still rising up. You always be in our hearts, but it's still a little bit. It's going to take a little bit to get used to. Definitely got to, hey. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. All right, so if you follow me across social media at One Love Ash, the number one, L-O-V-E-A-S-H, you'll see that I posted yesterday that I attempted to do uh, an Indian dish, my favorite Indian dish of all times is Chana Masala. And there's only one place outside of the perimeter of Atlanta that I love going to. And I can't think of their name right now because it's been so long since I've been there. But now that I'm back in the A-Town, I'm absolutely gonna go and patronize their business because, hey boo, <laughs> how you doing? Sup, Billy in the place, what's up? <laughs> Yeah, so um, there's only one Indian place that I really love going to because they cater to the um, to the vegetarian, the vegan community. And now that I'm doing the plant-based thing, for real, for real now, I haven't had fish since... It's been a while since I had fish, maybe January sometime. It's been some time, so I haven't had any kind of animal byproducts in months it's been months and months and months oh it's flickering sorry <laughs> so it's been a couple of months uh, yes that's right we are blessed in the lord and highly favored if y'all didn't know that get it get it right <laughs> okay monica lower or no that's not even the command um echo lower because monica is interrupting me y'all you know we love monica that's the home team that's the fam right there we holding it down. We love the fam. But um, <laughs> but yeah, I made chana masala yesterday and it came out amazing. It was not nearly as difficult as I thought that it was going to be. And that could be because I did take some shortcuts. Not going to lie about that. So chana masala is basically a stewed chickpea dish. And I used about... 14 different ingredients in it and all, a lot of those were just spices so a lot of curries a lot of chili powders um i can't think of it off the top of the dome right now but it was it was a lot but it didn't take that much once you got things going so first you would kind of brown or caramelize the onions and some fresh garlic and in the midst of that you start to put a little bit of your spices in there. So you may sprinkle in some 
some uh, some ginger powder or some garlic powder. Fresh ginger. Fresh ingredients work best with any dish that I've seen that you make from home. Fresh is always the best. So make it fresh. It's going to turn out just great. And I pureed some, what do you call them? Not plum tomatoes, the little ones, the grape tomatoes, I think. I think that's what they're called. But the little bitty guys. I had, I pureed a bunch of those, put that into the mix. I use a little bit of vegetable stock. And I use a can of chickpeas. Now, canned chickpeas are already cooked. They're already softened. You don't go through any weird, awkward phases with them. And so that's just what I did. And so I cooked it down and there is, oh, there's an ingredient that they don't talk about. A lot of places when you look at the recipe, you're like, you know, I'm making this and it still doesn't taste authentic. It doesn't taste right. And it's called like garam masala, something of that nature. Anyways, you can get this at any grocery store. You can go to Kroger and find it. McCormick makes it. And I'm sure Kroger brand stuff, they got their own Kroger brand as well. I ordered it this weekend. It came in. And before I put this in the mixture, and I'm letting it cook down. It cooked down for a good maybe 45, 50 minutes. And I tasted it along the way. And I was like, this just tastes like tomato paste with some spices in it. It don't taste like nothing really serious. I'm like, this is about to be a waste of a pot. How to, and I got to eat this random food that just tastes regular. And then I put that garam masala in it and it totally changed the flavor of it. Totally, completely changed the whole flavor palette. And so I was like, you know what? We gonna do this. <laughs> we gonna make this happen. So I did that and I was just so proud of myself because I thought for the longest, you know, I have Indian friends and I have friends that work at Indian spots. And I usually kind of just wait for them to just send me some food. <laughs> usually or I will stop through and you know grab a plate or whatever and so I was like you know what I've got the ingredients I need to make this happen I need to make this work and I did and I'm so proud of myself I'm happy in myself yay so the next phase is me making some naan so I'm gonna make some garlic naan I don't know how that's gonna turn out I don't know that's that's gonna be an interesting one it's gonna be an interesting one but I'm down for the cause. I made the china masala, so I'm like, that's half the battle. That's all of the food right there, okay? That's that's most of the food, baby. What you talking about? So, um, <laughs> that's just going to be half of it anyways. So, we going to see. I, the naan, I don't think it's going to be nearly as difficult, and so I'm going to try it out. We're going to see what happens with that. And so, my final topic for today is a movie that I remember seeing previews for, but y'all remember 2019 till about early this year, I was a flight attendant. So a lot of what I had going on, a lot of what I was doing, I was just later to focus on that career path. And so I missed a lot of movies, missed a lot of TV shows and stuff, but I semi remember seeing this preview. And this movie I watched this weekend on HBO Max and it's called Don't Let Go. And it stars David Oyelowo. Or is it, is it David Oyelowo? Or is it Michael Oyelowo? I'm probably mismanaging this man's name. And I apologize because he's a phenomenal actor. Hey, boo. <laughs> From Congo. All right, shout out to Renee. Shout out to Billy and Renee hanging out in the chat today. I appreciate y'all. From Congo. Shout out to Congo. What? I got people all over checking us out. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and uh, so the movie also st uh, stars Stormy Reed. And when I tell y'all, without telling y'all about the movie, this is an underrated movie. Completely underrated. I didn't remember hearing anybody talk about this movie. And the movie's phenomenal, yo. Phenomenal movie. So you got to check out Don't Let Go. It's on HBO Max right now. My brother told me about it. And I, you know, he usually had pretty good recommendations. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to check this out. I'm going to check this out because the little bro says so. And sure enough, that was the best. Like, it's just the story, the just imagery. The, it, it's awesome. Awesome, awesome. And it was underrated. You see, they don't want us to see our movies. 
It was the majority of a black cast and they did amazing. They absolutely did amazing. Really good casting, really good storytelling. That's all I'm gonna tell y'all. So go check it out, Don't Let Go. And that's pretty much what I got to say. So y'all see these curls, these struggle curls, they still in here. I'm gonna try to put some more curls in this weekend. I got some new rollers in the mail. The, locky, the lock and loop curlers are the ones that I originally really like because they really, really gave me some really good curls. But um, these curls are from the wrap -a lock tool. The wrap -a lock tool basically looks like, um, the wrap -a lock tool basically looks like pipe cleaners. They're like pipe cleaners that are um, layered with like a silicone type of material. Anyways, they're lasting. You get some really tight curls because this is over a week now. These curls are still acting crazy and just out there. But I got to put some conditioner and stuff in there and do what I got to do. Yeah, I know I got to make it happen. I got to make it happen, Captain. So I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for coming and hanging with your girl. Shout out to Billy. Shout out to Renee, Frank, Obama. Yes. All of the love and support. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for everything. Keep pushing forward no matter what. I got some great episodes lined up for the Ash Said It Daily podcast. Thank you for everyone that downloads the show on every platform. Yes, iTunes, iHeartRadio, Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify. The takeover is real, baby. The takeover is real. So just understand. When you see me on your dial, you're like, you know what? Ash said it was going to happen. <laughs> Ash said it was going to happen. And, and here it is. So I love you guys. Have a great rest of your week. And I'll see you next Tuesday. I get these top threes going and we stay on a regular schedule. Every Tuesday I'm going to do these top threes. So my top three topics of whatever is happening in life. So I'll holler at y'all later. Bye.